Welcome to Precision Way and Balances. Today we'd like to show you from A and D the model GF3000. This balance offers 3100 grams by a hundredth of a gram, that's 0 .01. So this is a 200 gram ASTM class 1 weight and we put it on the balance and you can see the balance is off. That's because this balance has been manufactured in Japan we're actually in Massachusetts, so the acceleration of gravity is different. So we need to calibrate the balance, and we'll walk you through and show you how to calibrate the balance. But I'd like to show you some of the other features real quickly on this balance. So this particular balance offers, again, 3,100 grams by a hundredth of a gram. So here is a three kilogram weight. And we'll stick it on. You can see, again, the balance is off, but we'll fix that through a calibration. So we actually have 3,100 grams on the balance, and it's showing E, because the balance can only display just over 3,100 grams, and this balance is showing 3,000.85. So we'll calibrate it in a minute and show you that the balance is perfect once it's calibrated. So this particular model is uh, one of many in the GF series. The balance has external calibration only. One of the hallmarks with the a and line is they have this little card that you can flip out and it shows you how to operate the balance and what each of the keys actually do on the balance. This balance has a six and a half by six and a half inch stainless steel platter and it's very large. A lot of people buy the a and line for the large weighing pan. Um, you can see here you have four posts and the posts have these two posts here have a piece of metal and that metal is to ground the plate. So if you have uh, any problems with static electricity it will lessen it. Again it will not eliminate it but it will lessen it. So the stainless steel platform goes on and this here is what the manufacturer calls is a windshield. It prevents drafts from going underneath the platform and giving you erroneous results. So it's a just fits right on the balance like such and it gives you better performance for the A and D line. Um, the balance here has a sprint bubble indicator and that's for easy leveling, so you can see that. That's right in the front of the balance. Um, the balance has a half a dozen keys here for easy operation, and we'll go through what each of those keys do uh, kind of quickly. I just want to show you on the bottom of this balance, on the very bottom, so here's your little card here, and on the bottom of the balance right here, this port, I don't know if you can zoom in and see this, but this is for below, uh, the below weigh-in. One would weigh beneath the balance if you had some kind of hot material or magnetic material. Now, hot or cold material, what would actually happen is if you were weighing it on the platform itself, on the balance, and you had a hot item, well, the balance is electronic, so there's a uh, temperature coefficient with all kinds of electronics. But the other issue is altogether is if you had a hot item on here, you would actually have a draft going up and therefore a hot item would actually weigh less. So if you have something that's really hot, you'd want to use the way below feature and what would you what you would have is you'd place this on a table and that table would have a hole in it and the wire would come down. You'd want to use wire so that you can eliminate any issues of static electricity and you would hang your item there. So with A and D, you have the ability to weigh, do uh, way below and you don't have to buy an underhook. A lot of manufacturers, you have to pay for the underhook. On the GF model, it comes with it. There's also the GX series and on the GX series, those have motorized internal calibration. Um, I'm just gonna unplug this balance and show on the rear of the balance, we have here, this is an RS-232 interface, it's 25 pin, and one would uh, plug into uh, the a and printer, or you could send this to a PC. Now the balance also has a splash shield, I should have showed you this before, 
So this is a splash shield, so if you ever have any drips or anything, you don't want to ruin your balance. Um, they sell extra ones of these. I think they're about $20 a piece, but you get one when you buy the GF series. So again, on the rear of the balance, you'll just see this is for your power, and this is for your RS-232. So it's a very simple balance. It does the job. Um, a and D has been around for a long time. They're based in Japan. This particular model is manufactured in Japan. Some of their balances are manufactured in Korea. So let's just put this back together. You can see it's doing a power-up test. And so the balance in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see this arrow. This arrow means that the balance is in the standby mode. Uh, that also means that the balance is getting power. So with any balance prior to doing calibration, you really want the balance to warm up for a half hour to acclimate to the temperature of the environment that it's being used in. This balance I've had on for, oh, about five hours. So let's turn on the balance. And we'll just go through calibration so you can see this balance is going to be right on the money. So to go into the calibration mode, one simply presses the cal button. And if we press and hold the cal button down, you'll see cal out, and it goes to cal zero. Now on A and D, many of the balances, you can select the calibration weight. Just can't select any. Uh, the manufacturer has pre-configured it. So when you see cal zero, if one presses the sample key, you'll see that the balance default on the GF3000 is 2,000 grams. Now, if you want to change that, one simply presses the ReZero key. If I press it once, you'll see you can calibrate it with 3,000 grams. If I press it again, you can calibrate it with 1,000 grams. If I press it again, we're back to 2,000. So I have a 3 kilogram weight, and we'll calibrate it with 3 kg. So I'm going to press the ReZero key, and we have 3,000 there. So now I have to store that value. To store it, I'm going to press and hold the print key. Okay, so it stored the value, and now we're back to Cal Zero. So we're ready to start the calibration. So to start the calibration, one simply presses the print key. And if you press the print key, you'll see in the upper left-hand corner this arrow. That means that the balance has just stored the parameters for nothing on the platform or null state. And I'll put my 3 kilogram weight on the center of the platform. It shows 3,000, and now we're going to press the print key again, and we'll see that arrow in the upper left-hand corner, and it's storing the value at 3,000. It shows end. We simply remove the 3 kilogram weight from the balance. It returns to 0.0, .0 and now we put on your cal weight, and there you have it. The balance, this is 3 kilograms. The balance readability is plus or minus 0 0.01, and so the balance is right on the money. And if you notice, if you remember before, when I had my 100 gram weight on this balance, this balance is 3,100 gram weighing capacity. There you have it. So the balance is right on the money, and you can see the performance of this balance. We'll put in the weight. In all the corners, you can see it performs extremely well. Now, one of the features that A and D has is you can adjust the response time. So, to adjust the response time, one simply holds down the mode button. And if you press and hold the mode button down, you'll notice it says response. Oh, I actually pressed it. This is now going into the check function. And it's saying everything's okay. One minute, we'll get out of that. Take this weight off. Zero out the balance. So again, if you notice right here, you have response, and we have it set to medium. Now, with the A and D GF series, we can adjust this so that it's either fast, medium, or slow. And to change that rate, one holds down the mode button until you see response. And when you do see response, uh, again, we're going into the check mode. I'm, I'm not doing it correctly. Um, but anyways, that's one of the beauties with A and D. Let's see, I have to press and hold the mode key down until you see the response. And then you 
let's see, I'm trying to grab my notes here. When you see the response key, you want to press the mode key to select the mode. So let's just try that. So hold it down, see that, and then so now you, you press the mode key, and you'll notice here how I'm changing it. It's going fast, mid, slow. So we'll just set it to fast. So when it's on fast, once you wait, then it says end, it stores it. So now you'll see up here, this is the fast mode. And so you'll see the balance will give you results a little bit quicker. Um, a and D claims within a second. Uh, you can see for yourself. I don't know if it's actually a second, but this is the fast mode. And if we went into the slow mode, we'll try that. Again, I'm holding down the button, and there I see it says response. If I press the mode button, now it says slow. And on slow, it says end. So now we'll notice it's in slow mode. If I put that calibration weight, notice how it's a lot slower. So sometimes maybe you want to get more stable results. You don't want to see the numbers flicker in. Maybe you have, you know, it's not good to use the balance in an area that has a lot of breezes, but maybe you're in that environment and you wanted to adjust the balance. So we're going to put this back to the default. And one more time, I simply press the mode key. When I see response, I wait, and then I press the mode key. And the factory default is medium. And there you have it, it says end. And again, this is a 200 gram weight. And you'll see the balance responds very nice. So a little bit more about A&D. The beauty with an A&D balance, this has a five year limited manufacturer's warranty. So many of the balance manufacturers out there um, have cut back their warranties substantially. Uh, you know, I don't want to say the other manufacturers, so they get all upset when I say who they are, but some of them have now a one year warranty. Others had three year warranties. They changed them to two year. Uh, bottom line is if the balance is so good, why don't they have a nice long warranty? So we're Precision Way and Balances. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. And we're an authorized A&D dealer. If you have any technical questions, give us a call. This is the GF3000. They have models going from 1,200 grams all the way up to 6,100 grams by a hundredth of a gram. A&D is a great affordable product. Give us a call if you have any questions.